France launching airstrikes against the Islamic State militants in Syria. This according to the French Ministry of Defense. The airstrikes come just two days after multiple terror attacks in Paris that killed more than 120 people. France's president describing those attacks as, quote, an act of war. French officials saying they focus the strikes on the city of Raqqa, which is the self-proclaimed capital of ISIS. Meanwhile, the investigation into the Paris terror attacks is now crossing international borders. Police making several arrests in Belgium and now word that another attacker is on the run. ABC's Carla Barguerena is monitoring the latest and joins us now live. Right now, 48 hours after the attack, the French have launched an attack of their own. At least 20 bombs have been dropped into Syria, destroying at least one jihadi training camp. In the meantime, in Paris today, a false alarm sent thousands into a collective panic. Crowds in Paris Sunday evening trying to reclaim their city, chanting and singing. But just moments later... Pure panic, everyone running scared, police moving in, weapons drawn. It spread from the plaza through the streets to nearby restaurants and scenes of Friday's attacks. But authorities quickly determined it was a false alarm, fireworks, not gunshots. We have to, uh, to act because maybe there is some, uh, somebody with, uh, with a gun or we just have to see. Meanwhile, the hunt for accomplices is heating up. Heavily armed police swarmed a man outside a Belgium train station this weekend. The raids netted several people, including one member of the attack team who had managed to escape. At least one more suspect remains on the run. Investigators releasing this picture, 26-year-old French national Salah Abdeslam, considered dangerous. <laughs> The arrests come as we learn more about the gunman who attacked the Bataclan Theater. One of the shooters, a 30-year-old man, had been flagged as a possible terrorist five years ago. They did not have enough people to follow all of the suspects on their list. We also now have the picture of the passport found on one of the attackers, identifying him as a Syrian refugee. He came through a Greek island last month, alone and unarmed. As police continue their search for more suspects, a car that was believed to be used during the attack was spotted by authorities outside of Paris, inside several Kalashnikov rifles.
peut dur, on peut s'en devait livrer euh, 22 Ouais, ce que je coupe aussi Tout Godfather Alpha, Godfather Bravo, Heavy One